The former Youth Enterprise and Development Fund Board Chairman Bruce Odiambo has had a long battle with heart-related complications and had constantly sought treatment abroad. He served as the fourth chairperson of the Youth Enterprise Development Fund in 2014 and resigned from his position in 2016 to facilitate the investigation into the Youth Fund scandal involving the alleged theft of 180 million shillings. Elsewhere, a section of members of the Garissa County Assembly are threatening to move to court to challenge the recruitment of mapping clerks in the forthcoming census exercise due in August. The recruitment panelists conducted sham interview and completely disregarded to uphold the constitution of Kenya. And four students from Kericho County who excelled in last year's Kenya Certificate of Primary Education have received secondary school scholarships from Kenya Commercial Bank, Kericho. The beneficiaries are among thousands of students countrywide being admitted to Form 1. Each beneficiary also received 25,000 shillings for shopping. The sponsorship is uh, on full scholarship from uh, their Form 1 until they complete their Form 4 studies. Uh, as I had mentioned earlier, uh, this year we have uh, taken 247 bright students across Kenya. <laughs> At Kisi University, a section of teaching and non-teaching staff under their unions Kusu and Uasu have downed their tools, blaming the institution of disregarding a collective bargaining agreement. The workers who held demonstrations within the campus premises vowed not to resume duty until the dispute is resolved. 2019, we are not going to move until they have addressed as management the issue one of the 2013-2017 CPA. In Yandara County, patients at J.M. Karaoke Memorial Hospital are accusing the hospital's management of neglect. They claim a number of patients are forced to share beds and at times there are no nurses to attend to expectant women in the maternity wing. The hospital has one maternity ward which caters to all expectant mothers referred from health centers and dispensaries from Yandara North Region. And residents of Sikarira in Butula constituency, Busia County, are living in fear after jackals invaded the village from the nearby Kareka forest. The wild dogs are said to be roaming the village, forcing residents to stay indoors for fear of being attacked. The locals are now calling upon Kenya Wildlife Service to intervene and redirect the canines back to their habitat or risk having the jackals killed by locals. <laughs> Finally, elders drawn from the various communities living in Isiolo County are adopting new concepts as they seek to enhance inter-ethnic ties within the cosmopolitan region. In the latest initiative, elders held an elaborate naming ceremony where a baby girl whose parents are of Kushitic descent was given a combination of both Meru and Borana names. For Channel 1 News, I'm Betty Kiptum.